what's up guys how's it going in today's video we're going to do a little quick tutorial on live traps um basically why to have one set what to do when you catch something and then how to reset it let's get into it hey guys before we get into it real quick do me a favor please like comment and subscribe I'd appreciate it. Thank y'all. So basically, I normally have a live trap set up right in here along this little thicket. Um, this is where we've had the most like coons, possums. Every time we've had one getting in, we've narrowed it down to this section of the uh, fence. And I mean, it's you can see there's there's nothing but woods behind us, so that's the reason. They're coming out of the woods. They're coming up to this first corner. They're saying, oh, there's chicken. Let me have a snack. And that's the reason why we have always, pretty much always, had a live trap here. Now, in the very beginning, I bought these. Hopefully that's not sad anymore. Yeah. It's um, what they call a dog proof trap. And I had no luck out of these. Maybe it was just a cheap uh, trap. I don't know. But never caught a possum or coon on one of these. But the live trap would be sitting shortly thereby and have a coon or a possum in it. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, d I didn't... Didn't have a need for this. So you may be asking yourself, what do I do with a coon if I do catch one? Or a possum, or whatever gets in your trap? Well, you got a couple of choices. Um, you can dispatch them. I take, I, I, I personally dispatch all mine and I take them out into the woods, dump them off and let nature take its course. Um, my theory is everything out there likes to eat chicken and um, they're up here by my chicken coop for a reason. They're not up here just, you know, gallivanting or whatever. They're up here looking for a meal. And if I don't get rid of them today, then they'll be back tomorrow and following. Um, early on in my chicken keeping career, I would catch them and I'd take them some miles down the road and dump them off and let them be somebody else's problem. Um, I don't know, that just, it kind of seemed wrong to me as I started losing chickens. I was like, well, what if, that's why I got so many coons is because somebody's dumping them off in front of my house. So, you know, if they stay out here in the woods, I have no problem with them. That's where they belong. They should be. Uh, it's when they come up here by the chicken coop that um, I take issue with them. So, we have caught us a coon. And... I'm telling you, well, you might be able to hear him hissing at me. Oh, buddy, don't you be all mean now. Ah, see? Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a happy... Yeah, you hear that? Dude would eat your face off if he could. So, that's... That's another reason why we dispatched, because early on... <laughs> When I released a couple of these dudes, they turned back on me like, whew, it was a little heart racing moment. So now we just dispatch, we, you know, it's sad, I get it, but it is a necessity. If you're going to keep chickens and you're not gonna keep them confined in, in a like, you know, predator proof cage, uh, you will either have to make the decision to you know, dispatch a coon or a possum, or you're gonna have to make the decision to buy birds all the time. 
I mean, because they're going to get dispatched. Anyway, let's get this done, then I'll show you how to rebate the trap. All right, I want to show you a problem that you're going to run into with these live traps. Don't know if you're familiar with them, but basically it's got this little pin right here that just hooks onto this door. Runs down here through this trigger down to this foot that when they step on it, the foot presses down and that closes. This little latch here keeps it from, from opening, so your coon, your possum, or whatever is stuck. Uh, well, possums aren't that bad. They don't try to dig out, but coons will, I mean, they will dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. And so they reach their hands outside and dig and toenails and everything and dig and um so they end up piling dirt all up underneath this this foot so every time you reset it you need to make sure that that foot's real good and cleaned out because if they step on it and it doesn't go down then the lid's not going to close i'll be back this out of work you just don't want to use your hands because you know this king has been sitting in this trap since yesterday or last night so he's peed and pooped and you know so use a stick All right, so we got the trap. We're gonna go over here to the same location that we always set it up. I have moved it around. Oh yeah, we gotta grab a little bit of bait. Yes, I hadn't checked eggs in a week. So anyway, we set it up in the same spot every time. It just, it just keeps working, so why change it, you know? Let me turn you around. You can see that this is where the trap was set last time. And you can see how the coon dug and all that, so. All right. So, ouch. Briar. Um, all right, so we got our bait. By the way, these look work great. They're free and they work great. So we pull our pull our little tab up, set our eggs down. Hopefully, don't break them yet. We pull this up. Grab a whole two right here. All right, so we did all the way up. That's when that little Oh, you can't see. That little tab I was telling you about earlier on the foot, I just push that forward to where it goes underneath. Yeah, and it's set. And that way, if a coon steps on that trigger back there, then, you know, it releases it and comes down. So, Here's what we're gonna do with the eggs. This is what I do. I just throw them to the back. Okay, you want them to be in the back. You don't want them up front. And I like for them to crack a little bit so that maybe it releases a little bit of smell or whatever. Uh, but uh, I'd rather crack them a little bit than just throw them in their hole. And then, just place it down, kind of give it a little 
push make sure it's you know relatively sturdy because uh, if they step on it and it moves around a lot they they probably won't get back there to the eggs but that's all there is to it so now all you do is wait um really normally um uh, maybe a day two uh, I mean, we have went more than that between coons or possums in the trap, but uh, this time of the year, they're out. The, the babies are, you know, getting out. and I mean, it, it's just a, a free-for-all this time of the year. So uh, I think that in nature, they all know that, you know, babies are born this time of the year, right? No matter what, uh, whether it's chickens or whatever you know springtime is the time to to have your babies and so they're just out looking for for a free meal so i keep it i keep it lit up all all spring most of the summer sometimes in the winter i'll slack off because um you know they're not as i don't know as hungry i don't know i don't know why they don't eat as much in the winter but anyway Hey guys, if y'all got anything out of this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.